everyone. Today we're going to be showing off our Origins haul. So we're super excited to show you some of the games that we got today um, or this last weekend um, to show you some of our favorites. So Randy's going to unhide himself. Hello, I'm here too. <laughs> um, so um, we got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we came up with a lot more than we expected to come up with. You were like, oh, I only have like a couple that I'm going to look at. And then yeah. we ended up uh buying a lot more than what we anticipated so out of this horde what is your the next we're going to play like the one you want to play the most? i don't know there's so many good ones all right give me give me three give me three you put me on the spot yes uh, i did yes i, I definitely did. want to track out mobile markets uh, okay this is the follow-up to smartphone inc which okay. we enjoyed and uh, looking forward to that. I, I think that review actually predates the channel. I think we that was one of our Yeah, it was. It was a, one of our So we actually reviews. need to go back and do smartphone again, and this might give us an incentive to do so. Uh, that one, um, I'm excited about Tumbletown. We, uh, that was the last one we picked up at the convention. Uh, we yep, were, from Weird Giraffe Games. Yep, and uh, we get we get to spend some time with Weird Giraffe, and they, they sent us home with several of their games, and we picked that one up. Because there was uh, only, there was only three, three left. copies left. Like, that's all they had, yeah. ever, um, until they do a reprint. So, um, Rainy, had, of course, had to snag it, <laughs> the, the exclusiveness of it all. So, excited about that one. You got one more. What's your other one? So season. number three would probably be Cryptid Cafe, because this one was one that I, I had on my list to check out when we got there, and uh, it's actually completely different from Cryptid, so I was surprised by that. It just uses the little creatures, but you're, it's kind of like Root Beer Tapper. They're coming into your restaurant, and they're asking for their orders, and if you don't get to them quickly, they get angry, and they'll leave your establishment. So, uh, the, the, you know, I like those kind of games, so... Um, yeah, those would be my top three. So, um, I've got three as well. I, and one of them I will dedicate to Sissy. So the one I'm excited for Sissy is Kids Chronicles by Quest for Moonstones, which is by Lucky Duck Games. Um, we did end up picking that. They have, um, two, um, in their kids series. They're about to kickstart a third which we'll share in maybe a later episode um but yeah so we ended up getting two of their games and this one i'm excited for sissy so that one i'll dedicate to sissy the other two that are more for me is i'm actually very excited about the stellar leap that seems right up again this is another weird giraffe games we were this is kind of really the first time that we've been exposed to them except for um, uh, fire in the library firing the libraries um, and so that was kind of um, exciting. All right, so the third one I'm excited about is Hidden is the City Builder by Inside Up Games. Now this one is, Inside Up Games is actually probably known for Summit, which is the favorite of... Trey Parker from South Park, according to uh, his video on Dice Tower, so... So, yeah, so, um, so we were over at that booth checking out Summit and a few of their other games, and this one caught my eye because um, this one's more my speed. So those are the three that we're excited about. Um, now, while we were at the con, it seems like the three biggest hits was the cat the game. Cats in the box. That one sold out within 15 minutes every day. Uh, yeah, so we didn't get to so that I one. We didn't get to that one, unfortunately. It's a trick-taking game. Uh, that one, the uh, obviously, the Tumble Town was popular. Uh, um, Mobile Markets was popular. And then the Gifts of the Tulips. Gifts of the Tulips, I've seen mentioned. I don't know how popular it was, but it, it definitely was mentioned as a best of on some people's lists. Uh, it, so, uh, a lot of them, you know, they didn't have a lot of new releases, so there weren't that many. I mean, I think Mobile Markets is the biggest one I saw that was a new title. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, Cats in the Box, or Cat in the Box was the big seller, and that was from Bezier Games, and that was their big seller. The other big one for them at the convention was Ultimate Werewolf Extreme, which is technically listed as a 2021 release, but I think this is the first it's seen uh, light of day over in the U.S., so... Uh, you know, that was, uh, that one I know that was, that there were posters and banners for everywhere. And I saw them playing it in the halls. Uh, I don't know how big it was selling, but, you know, it was definitely well advertised. Well advertised. Um, so another one that we kind of um, got as well is, so in Creature Comforts, there was um, reference cards to um, board games. And there were a couple that we knew. There was one we did not. 
we finally, um, someone did mention it and when we talked about it, but we finally actually got it to play mm -hmm. so we can have a reference point to the one and Creature Comforts. So super excited about our um, buys this go around. I'm super excited to, to see how they all play out. So you'll, hopefully you'll see, guys see a bunch of new content coming out. I mean, um, there's just oh, so we'll definitely be seeing a lot of new content, not to mention, in addition to these, we also got the new AEG release before uh, Origins, right before, the Guild of Merchant Explorers. Ooh. And when we came home, we had two shiny new Kickstarters waiting for us. I know. Yes. So excited. Nice. I will say a lot. Uh, well, Kickstarters cleared this week <laughs> that we that we posted about. So um, it'll be exciting to actually get to play a few. Yep. Um, so we have Monsters on Board and Cult of the Deep that showed up. Yeah, so that's our haul for Origins. We're super excited to share some of the stuff up with you. If there's a particular one that you see here that you want us to play first, hey, give us a shout out. Tell us which ones to get out first um, and play. So if not, we're going to go because basically you know, what we want to play next. <laughs> um, so yeah, we had a lot of fun this weekend and we'll give you a recap maybe in another episode. So we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.